This is one serious bike. The Synker 24 is for hard charging kids who want a bike that rips just like the adult version. This model is sized for riders who are between 53 and 62 inches tall. A SRAM NX 1x11 drivetrain has a wide gear ratio. No front derailleur keeps shifting simple so kids can focus on the ride. Aggressive 24 inch tires are ready to hit the dirt. They sit on burly double wall rims that will stand up to everything your kid throws at them. Rough trails are no match for the 80 millimeter Sun Tour suspension fork, allowing the rider to have fun diving into technical features. This wide handlebar gives a very stable feel. It lets the rider take a slightly wider stance, which provides more leverage, making it easier to keep on target at any speed. Hydraulic disc brakes are a must for serious riding, so of course we added those too, because having better control always ups the fun factor. Best of all, the Synker 24 ships Ready Ride, so with just four assembly steps, you can get to the trail and ride even sooner. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my handlebars here. This has the quick connect attachment feature on there. Looks like this here. It has kind of the, the bell housing over the stem. I've removed all of the uh, shipping material so the plastic and rubber caps are no longer in the head tube or on this part here. I'm going to insert it, making sure that my brake cable goes forward. And just kind of give it a little bit of a wiggle there. And then I'm going to get this six millimeter hex bolt started by hand. I like to start things by hand so I make sure I don't strip them out. Uh, if you can't get it at least uh, slightly snugged up with your fingers, uh, it's probably uh, not on the right threads and you need to try again. At this point, you'll notice that the uh, handlebars are still loose, uh, but they don't spin all the way around without taking the front wheel with it. So what we're going to do next is take a six millimeter hex wrench. This is included in the box. Um, I'm using a aftermarket tool just for this demonstration purpose here. And we're gonna tighten that up. You may hear some uh, pops and dings as this gets settled into place. And it's not completely tight yet, but you notice how uh, the amount of travel has greatly decreased between the movement of the front handlebars and the front wheel. Now I'm going to tighten this the rest of the way, getting it pretty snug, not over tightening it, uh, not you know bending the tool or, or over torquing it. Now our front tire and our handlebar are aligned and your headset is connected and should not be loose in any form. Okay, so we're gonna move to our pedals now. Our pedals usually have stickers on them that say left and right, but if they don't, uh, there is an easy way to tell which one's which. The right pedal has a smooth surface finish on the bolt part of the pedal near the threads that go into the crank arms. The left pedal has hash marks across the uh, mating surface there near the threads that go into the crank. So that's how you can tell which one's which. They are different threads. The left pedal is uh, a lefty tidy pedal, uh, so opposite of what most of us are used to, which is righty tidy lefty loosey. The right pedal uh, goes on as normal as we would think righty tidy lefty loosey. If you're looking at the bike and you're trying to figure out which one is the left and which one is the right side, the right side of the bike is always the rider's right, and it uh, has the drivetrain and the chain on that side. So the side you're looking at right now with the chain and uh, the chain guard here, this is the right side of the bike. I'm gonna take my right pedal, go ahead and tighten, get this started by hand. Nice feature about these pedals is 
you can use a 15 millimeter wrench just like normal or you can use the included six millimeter tool and go from the outside and tighten. This gives you two options. Uh, it's a little bit easier to work from the outside with the uh, hex tool. So I've gotten that there. Put that in. Add a little torque, tighten that down, and we're good. You're gonna do the same thing on the left. Remember I said this is reverse thread, so this is lefty tighty. I'm gonna do the same thing here with my six millimeter hex tool. Okay, so that is installing our pedals. It's pretty straightforward. Um, if you uh, do run into issues with strip threads or anything like that, take your time, uh, pull the pedal back off, uh, clean up any of your work area, pull out any little shavings of metal, and, and try again. Like I said, starting by hand usually solves those problems to begin with, uh, so don't just put a wrench on it right away. Uh, you can use a 15 millimeter wrench if you need to. Um, as well as the six millimeter for installing. Either way works. Uh, we just like to give you another option with this one. All right, so that is uh, putting together the pedals and handlebar on your 20 inch Quick Connect bike. So I hope this helps and enjoy your bike. Hi, I'm Brian. And I'm Kyle. You may have seen us on ABC's show Shark Tank where we demonstrated our sure stop brake system on our Guardian bikes. But there are a lot of other factors that go into making Guardian bikes the safest kids bikes on the block. Here are the top eight things that our customers love about Guardian bikes. Number, Number one. one. Sure Stop Brake Technology. My daughter sustained a concussion based on the braking system on her old bike. I'm a surgeon that deals with trauma situations on an everyday base. So when I went looking for a safer solution for my daughter's next bike, the sure stop system was a no-brainer. A focus on safety. We know that he's safe on it. It's beautifully engineered with safety as first objective. When my granddaughter's old enough, I'll be buying another Guardian bike, that's for sure. Easy assembly. I ordered online. It was a little wee leery about about doing that, but it worked out perfectly. The bike arrived pre-assembled, and all I had to do was attach the handlebars and the pedals. It took about five minutes. No coaster brakes. I'm so glad that we avoided coaster brake. When when she starts to lose her balance, she pedals backward and regains her balance, and she is able to pedal forward. If she had a coaster brake, her bike would stop every time she pedaled backward. Lightweight. The bike is very light compared to other models. We have seen at the big box stores, so it's easier to transition to her bigger girl bike. Ride size or software. Buying a bike online was a little nerve-wracking, but Guardian has, has a great tool to help you get the right size and see when your child will outgrow the bike. They were right on target. It was a perfect fit. Cool factor. My son loves it. It can be tough to find a high quality kids bike that looks cool too and Guardian does a terrific job. Over the top customer service. Where I learned that Guardian is really excelled is with their customer service. I was mistakenly installing one of the one of the pedals incorrectly, and when I emailed the company on Saturday morning with a question, they got back to me within an hour, both an email and a phone call, per suddenly walk me through to answer my question. Even though it was my mistake, they went out of their way to help. So those are eight reasons that our customers love Guardian Bikes. And we love our Guardian Bikes. And yeah, they always like.